Joining us today, cultural and political commentator Quentin R. Giles, entrepreneur Austin Gary, and diversity, equity, and inclusion manager Kirstie Mitchell. Welcome you all to the show. Kirstie, I want to start with you. We know that 20 million Americans resigned from their jobs in the first five months of this year. What is the disconnect between employees and employers during this time? I think that employees are just looking for better. A lot of work environments are toxic and the iniquities between black workers and white workers is is striking. So I think a lot of black Americans are realizing, you know, for low pay, long hours, burnout, and a, and a lot of effects on our mental health, it's just not worth it. And you, you got to remember after 2020, we've, we've witnessed a lot of trauma, mass grief, mass death, and people are reevaluating what is really important in their lives. So, you know, it puts black employees kind of figuring out what is what's really working for us and what isn't. And I feel like we're able to decide how do we want to change our careers? What do we want our lives to look like? And there's a disconnect with what corporate America is providing for Black Americans. Yeah, it's interesting that you mentioned, you know, some of the issues that Black people are having in the workplace because 80% of people of color are actually saying that they're dealing with microaggressions, there's a lack of diversity, and the glass ceiling um, is still an issue uh, within our system. And Austin, you're joining me here in studio. So glad to have you. you. You know, you're a business owner. What are your thoughts as an employer when you hear that 20 million people are leaving their jobs? Well, they're not basically thinking logically. I mean, I look at COVID, of course, allowed unemployment to come into effect, and mm. black folks say to hell with this job. I'm getting $600 every week, unemployment, and their mentalities are still there. They don't want to work. Really? They want to basically want everything given to them. They don't have the mindset to say, you know what, I'm going to earn it. That's mm. not the society that we're living in today. Right now, they're robbing. The jobs right now, people that are really succeeding in work are robbers. Kiersey, Kiersey, I heard you chuckle a little bit. What What are your thoughts about what Austin just said? Um, I disagree with the fact that, with the statement that he made, that people don't want to work. I pe think people are excited to work. People are excited to be a part of organizations and be valued. But I think that corporate America is just not providing that. For a long time, we've been subjected to systems that don't really serve that. And corporate America is longstanding a part of that. You look at how much women are being paid in comparison to their, to their um, white counterparts and how much black men are getting paid in comparison to their, to their white counterparts as well. And we're just not getting paid the same. We're getting paid less. And even if we have the same amount of education, the same experience. So we're really witnessing within, within corporate America that we're just not valued as much. And I think we're kind of tired of it. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to tie this question up with a rebuttal to Austin as well. Love you, brother. But I vehemently disagree. I think that the idea that Black folks just don't want to work is an old, psychotic, racist trope. Um, what, what the younger generation is doing is saying no more. We have options, right? Whether that is jumping from job to job, whether that is starting our own businesses. We see a surge in people like Austin as being an entrepreneur, creating their own businesses to create sustainability for themselves. We had over 5.4 million people uh, uh, file paperwork to become their own business or business owner. And so what this generation is saying is saying, hey, I can get on TikTok, I can get on Instagram, I can make the same amount of money, if not more than I would at a nine to five without even having to have a large following. So why would I continue to go to a toxic work environment where people are going to underpay me and not value me when I can go do it on my own and or go work in the gig economy so that I can have the flexibility to raise my uh, kids or to care for a sick loved one and I can just tap in and work when I need to work to pay my bills. And so I think that this generation is just saying, I have no interest in working at a toxic place for 30 years to hopefully collect social security, which may not be there uh, and trying to figure it out on their own. So Austin, you're getting tag teamed okay, a little well, bit, so good. go ahead and well, respond. I, I, I appreciate <laughs> both of your comments. However, I agree with some sort of what you said and I disagree. I do believe that we're in a society that they don't want to work. I don't believe that TikTok is the main source of an income for a lot of these new coming uh, millennials, I call them. I believe whereas you work a nine to five and then when you get off that nine to five, you work your business and you basically, you're trying to create a transition. Right now, 
people are looking at the transition and not putting in the work to get over to be their own CEO in their own lives, what have you. And then I also believe that corporate America, I personally don't feel anything racist about corporate America. I applaud corporate America. However, we could be corporate America. You know, you, 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 you go to college, you get a degree. I don't believe that the degrees is going to always get you in the door of what you're going to school for. However, I do believe that we're just in a society that it's a lot of laziness and people just don't want to basically earn anything. That's just my perspective of it. But I respect what you said. To God, may God judge you. But. Here's the gag. Here's here's the guy. Here's the gag about TikTok, and I'm gonna I'm gonna stand up for the millennials on TikTok. Out of all the things that I do, and I'll give you the tax receipts. A year ago, I made eighty nine thousand dollars from posting on TikTok. So you can make you can be sustainable on social media. Maybe because you haven't seen it, or maybe you're not in the spheres of people who are actually doing it. But there are ways to make lucrative money on social media and doing other things that provide you a certain level of comfort and sustainability for your life that does not depend on a toxic cultural or a, a, a work, corporate America structure. Not Here's saying I don't believe it, but give a class. Absolutely. Teach the people. Okay. Teach the people how to do it. Teach the people how to actually get to that level where they're so making let's, money. So let's, let's do this. I want to wrap this up with Kiersey really quick because you're talking about teaching people how to do it. Kiersey, how do employers hold on to their employees? Obviously, they need to be taught how to do that, right? Absolutely. And one of the great things that we've seen out of the great resignation is that employers have to shift to figure out how can we keep and attract top talent. So they have to increase their pay. They have to have provide better benefits. They have to provide child care, flexible work environments, because it's really a candidate's market. That's just the facts. I work in human resources and I've seen the, the disparities from the inside out of corporate America. And I'm really proud of this workforce, millennials and generations because they're really changing the system from the inside out. And when you demand change, you get change. And so employers are have to, going to have to attract top talent in ways that they've never seen before. And it's really taking back power and power in the candidates and the employee market. Well, I want to thank you, Austin, for here joining us here in the studio again. Quentin, thank you so much, as well as Kiersey. Spirited and respectful conversation. Thank you all for participating in this little chit-chat. All right, we'll be right back after this.